Hello and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So, we're still waiting on our claim on Cider Hall. Um, I don't think we're going to fire the claim straight away, but we're de it's definitely something to think about. And we're still uh, pr pretty much sticking with our family focus. At least until, I think we're going to wait till our wife is, well, she's almost 30. I think we're going to change it then, just because it's unlikely that you're going to get the five children after that point. It's not completely unlikely, but it's unlikely. I think 40 is the complete cutoff, but 30 is one of the smaller cutoffs. If I'm if I remember that right. Anyway, guard stations have been built. Fantastic. Let's build something else. Why were we building guard stations? Because we wanted to build the next castle town, which needs us to model modest estates, which we can do if we have 150 gold. Okay. Hopefully our leash pays us back, and then that'll uh, solve some of those problems. A young artist is working on a divine icon of the smith. The aspect of the seven representing crafts and labor. He needs sponsorship to finish it so we can place it in our own set. Okay. Well, we can pray for strength and that will give us your ship. Um, yeah. And it's kind of charitable, I guess. Maybe. I mean, it's charitable in so much that we're actually going to get our money back. Like, we'll get our money back through having higher stewardship anyway, but it's charitable. It's an investment, maybe. Your reports, your septum reports from New Barrel that your charity work is proceeding well. The poor being fed in your pie standing has improved. Uh, we can still do much good. A little bit of piety. We're pretty alright on piety right now. Ooh, Stormlands Revolt. Um, okay. Dor Dornish Marshes are revolting against the Stormlands. Do we have a Cassis Belly? We do not have a cast spell. Oh, right, yeah. He's not a leisure or a vassal of our leash, so we couldn't declare war on him anyway. Because although he's revolting, he's actually still underneath the Iron Throne. He's not independent, independent. Okay, I see. Ooh, more people are joining this revolt. Okay. Um, so he has about 17,000 men. The Dornus Marches have 5,000. And Red Watch have 3,000... 900, so let's say they have 9,000 against 17,000. It's not great, but it's a start. Maybe a few more will join? Oh, also, who would have joined on his side? That's a good question. Let's have a look. Um, Dornus Marches are against... Um, the attackers... Oh, Old Towner is also in this. So that's... Um, that Cider Hall are in this with their 13,000 troops. So the Stormlands are outmatched right now. Yeah, there, there's only one defender. Do they have any allies? They have no allies they can call in. Interesting. Stormlands might actually lose. Uh, what's the war for? Uh, revolt against the rule. Oh, okay. So, would they become uh, independent underneath the um, Iron Throne? Or would they depose him? I don't know what the winning condition. If they depose him, the heir is... Barristan Carnan? Or Caron? Who's he? Oh. He's someone completely dead. So it goes Targaryen. Oh, that, I was looking at the Dornish Marches. That's where I was getting confused. If they depose him, it would go to Lord Rhaegal. Okay. That doesn't change too much, but still interesting. I was wondering how he man like, I was wondering how it managed to switch uh, Dynasty. It's because I was looking at the wrong person. Aha, uh -huh, they just won a good battle against the Stormlands. That's a whole bunch of troops that aren't coming back. Who do I need to imprison this time? Iron Flowers, what are you doing? Uh, ambitious. Uh, okay, let's see what he's doing. No, oh, wait, no, we have a couple of known plots. Let's see what we got here. So, you want to. Appleton wants to buy the Spymaster of Appleton's loyalty. I don't care too much. He wants to replace Briar Egerton as Castilian. And our sister is involved. No, just end your plot. Stop it. L replace Lady Blelsa and become regent of... Of what? Hayswick. Yeah, we're not too involved with Hayswick. We're not going to uh, interfere too much if we don't have to. Will we get this uh, event? Yes. Less upon you and your house, your demand is just. My scheming was obviously misdirected. I hope you'll find it in you to forgive me. Okay. Yes, we will. We can find it within us to forgive you. Uh, Mathis Durwell is now known as the Mild. Okay. 
Your septum, septum quintum of new barrel reports that Maester Garza Fosbury has been humbled by your endless generosity to the poor insider, bear, insider hall. The peasants are singing your name. Yes, they like us. They like us a lot. Uh, Lords of Westmarch changed tax law. Lord Paramount Harwin of the Iron Isles was slain by Torgan War uh, Hunt in personal combat. Torgan War Hunt? Oh, from the Wildling Revolt? Oh, that is... That is embarrassing. What's this? Crab's pincer? It's the Valyrian steel axe belonging to House Celtigar. Okay, well, I guess he found a Valyrian item. Uh, so, the son is now Lord Dyke the Second of the Iron Isles, and his heir is Lord Dagon of the Iron Isles. So there's a lot of uh, Greyjoys still left, aren't there? There's still 18 of them, yeah. No worry about them running out of people at any time soon. They've, they've done a much better job than, uh, well, the Lannisters, for one, because they know... I don't think the Lannisters even exist. Oh, well, Malor Uller is dead. He was the Jouster. I remember him. Tax law changed. Uh, they got some money from raiding and looting. How's the Stormlands looking now? 17,000 troops. There's 13,000 here. Mm, it's not looking as good as it could if they still have 17,000 troops. Did they call someone else into their war or something? Nope. Okay. Weird. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, more raiders appeared. Alright. Just going to take attrition in the mountains for no apparent reason. Seems like a good idea, Stefan. Seems like a good idea. I don't know why they're going through Dorne. Necessarily to get to where they want to go. Oh, and they're back into uh, the Dornish marches. This is a fun game watching where they go. Sisters uh, founded the Crown Loyalist faction. Some more raiders. Oh, where did he go? Oh, there's one army. Yep, perfect. This is the fight everyone wanted to see. The 13,000 versus 17,000. Oh no, it's the 200 versus the 48. Well, I mean, they won. Well done, I guess. The Wildling Revolt's almost over. That's nice. My lord, your daughter Lucia is responding well to my tuition. She's improved her skills and advancing knowledge every day. Oh, fantastic. And she's just as well. Cool. Uh, anyone actually up there against the wildlings? No, that we're actually, I think we're just winning through uh, the fact that they can't siege anything. We get ticking war score. So, that's interesting. Uh, people being released from other people's dungeons. Ooh, there's the fight. Uh, they have the hills advantage, but they lost to the Stormlands. Apparently, the Stormlands are undefeatable. They are the best. My liege, I have collected a tithe and new barrel the money shall reach you together with this letter. Your humble Castilian, Lord Briar of Yelshar. Oh, well, we'll take the money. We'll take the money. Ah, I was, I've was i been playing too much of the uh, Warhammer mod. I was thinking, oh, we've got money. We can go and uh, trade it in for cultist uh, events. And it's like, R wrong mod. Uh, we have a claim on the Lordship of Egerton for Lord Briar of Yel for Yelshar. You have allies. Many, 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 many allies. Okay. How strong are they? Oh, yeah, yeah. You have some reasonably strong allies. I wish there was an easier way of finding this out rather than looking at each one individually. Oswell has 4,000. 3,000. 1,000. Yeah, I don't even need to look that far. I think they're... He, he's done a very good job at getting his allies. Very, very good job. Would be nice to take it, though. But, you know, we can't do that. We'd like this 14% uh, chance to fire. I think it's 14% monthly chance, or is it yearly chance? It might be yearly, in which case, like... Yeah, okay. In which case, 10 years is probably the uh, average, roughly. Maybe a little bit lower than 10 years. We could hold attorney. Don't really want to hold attorney, though. Not really anything to do. Like, we're not that, um, we're not proud or anything, are we? Nope. We're just a family man. Uh, the North declared the Northern War to destroy the Night's Watch on High Chief the Sands of, uh, Tallwalker. Oh, is that? Wait. Sansa Talltalker. Sorry. Uh, she, he, they have 32,000 men and Sansa has 2,000 men. So if the North can figure out how to go, like, you know, that direction, they, they're they amazing. Oh, another fight that um, the Stormlands is winning. 
somehow the Stormlands are winning another war despite having less troops. Lord Laris, the Grove of the Crossing, has declared Lord Laris of the Crossing's war for, on, for the Riverlands on Lord Paramount Joshua of the Riverlands. So he's. The Frey has declared his war for the Riverlands. Okay. Interesting. Because he has a weak claim on it. Oh, we'll I'll see how that goes. Um, the Crossing has. 8,000 men, and the Riverlands has 4,000, so the Crossing should win this war. Oh, although the Veil, vale, not the Veil, vale, uh, the Riverlands have the Veil vale and the um, someone else. So the attackers are the north. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, the attack, uh, no one's defending the Riverlands. Uh, Westlands and the Veil vale and the north should all come and defend. Harrenhal declared independence here for 6,000. So that's, um, they're on the other side. That is not good. So that's 6,000, 8,000, 14,000 on the other side, just to start. Uh, who else is in this? Looks like the Vale might have joined. The Vale did not join, but the Riverlands are in the war for the wall, which is interesting. Wonder what it would be like to have a Frey in charge there. That's going to change some things. Joanna Kidwell died a natural death. Okay, she was married to Matthias the uh, Mild. Right. Yeah, the realm is falling apart. Oh, okay. Um, Lan of Drox Castle accepted. So 3,000 people joined this war. Lord Paramount Tyrus the Righteous declined the Riverlands call to war. Okay, so that's 48,000 men he's not getting. Uh, he got another 1,000 from Kenning. Okay. He hasn't tried to call the Veil in yet, then. Or did he try and call the Veil in and it succeeded? It did not succeed. Well, he also has Eastweld in this war. Where's Eastweld? Uh, I can't see them. Nope, can't see Eastweld. They must be um, further away. More people being raided, people being released from dungeons. All sorts of good stuff up there. It's time for me to choose how I want to educate my son, Duncan Fosaway. Um, Grim for command, I think. Yup. And of course, we'll spend as much as we can, yes. Obviously. We'll spend as much as we can. How's the Stormlands War actually going? I to just looking at it from afar. Um, it is 24% in favour of King Malus. And what's this? He's always oh, being attacked by Dorne in the second Dornish war for the Kingdom of the Stormlands, High Lordship of, Sh of Shipbreaker Bay, and the Lordship of Storm's End. Wow. And that is a Baratheon the clearing for the Stormlands against the Targaryen. Okay. That's weird, because the Targaryens used to hold Dorne in our, uh, in our world. All very weird. My lord, your daughter Lucia is responding very well to my tuition. She has improved her skills and advancing in knowledge every day. Your humble servant, Ma Maester Paxter. Hmm. Yeah, she, she's got some very good stats. Very, very good stats indeed. People are being released from other people's dungeons. It's turning colder and colder. The people of New Barrow can no longer work the fields. Um, I think it might be time that we uh, stop our family focus. Because I said at 30 and she's 31 now. We'll cancel our ambition to have five children. Because that's no longer a thing that we are going to do. Uh, we could try and become Master Arms. Probably not going to get that. Adopt a lifestyle? A hobby to pursue? Yeah, sure. F uh, let's change our focus. Well, we are lean troops. We could make it war. Carousing is definitely an option as well. That allows us to invite people to carousing. War would allow us to duel our rival, which could be fun. Just uh, go outright and duel them. Hunting, we've done before as well. Rulership, uh, business, not really our things. Um, carousing, I guess? We haven't done carousing yet. Let's do carousing. Let's see how carousing goes. Uh, see if there are any new events for carousing. And uh, who do we want to carouse with? How about our lord? Can we, we can invite him to carousing. Yeah, we can prepare a small feast. A private feast. There we go. Important decisions are avail uh, available. Send carousing invites. You'll select whether to send invites to your family, vassals, court, or realm. Uh, my close Fosaway relatives. That's, that's a long list. All my vassals, all the courtiers of Newbarrel, are all my subjects. Um, I'm going to invite everybody. We're having a huge party. We're going to have a 
massive party. Dear acquaintance, of course I shall come to the feast with you. I shall bring my best appetite for revelry, yours, Master Quinton of Hangletown. Okay, Master Quinton. This should be fun. Uh, Master Gar said yes. Master Wyman said yes. Master Quinton said yes. Arwen said yes. Uh, Rhea said yes. Unwin said yes. Clifford said yes. Uh, Lord Paramount said yes. That's good. Um... Laura said yes. Paxter said yes. Captain of the Guard said yes. Isaac said yes. Sierra said yes. Walden said yes. Amana, uh, Amena said yes. Lord Buford said yes. Annette said yes. Bionni said yes. Lord Colin said yes. Bertram said yes. Tanya said yes. I'm starting to think I should have invited less people. Sir Axel said yes. Samuel said yes. Desmera said yes. Armin said yes. Manessa said yes, Tanya said yes, Elry said yes. Are we done? Fantastic. Joshua Tully is now known as the Gross. Really? I mean, he does have a lot of negative traits, yeah. Hmm, how's his war going? Probably not very well, I would imagine. Yep, the Crossing are winning handily. And the Stormlands War, just double check. First one is in favour of um, the... This is King Malus of the Iron Throne. If it... King Malus of the Iron Throne? Is that... Oh, cause he's King of the Iron Throne because his wife controls the Iron... Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. He is still the uh, Lord Paramount of the Stormlands. And the other war is 0% war score because Dorn can't figure out how to get across the Dornus marches. Oh no, there they are. They figured it out. Um... So... The Lord of the Vale, the Tlines, the North's wa uh, like wall war, uh, and someone else accepted it. And Valette Merryweather died in a dungeon of Melis of the Iron Throne. Oh, the wife of Old Town, that's why he joined, I guess. One cynical comment after another. I could not take it anymore. I even tried to bribe Isaac so he would shut up and stop firing cynical remarks at me. Stop it, stop it, please. Right, there's your coin, you cynical man. Yes. Let's, uh... Don't get it. Lord Clement of Harrenhal died bedridden, ridden, and infirm. It looks like Andre is still in the war. Andre Vance. This should very soon lead to the Riverlands not being controlled by Atali again. Although that didn't last very long last time. But this time it will be a Frey who's controlling it. And they have a lot more innate power in the realm. As far as I can tell. Oh, that's another couple of wars. Another couple of battles won. That's a 100% war score. Riverlands scores over. Your guests have arrived for the private feast you have arranged. Yeah, very private. There's like 100 people here. It's time to let the carousing and merriment begin. Let's get started. Uh, our child lacks a guardian. Duncan needs to be educated. Okay. Um, let's educate our child. So, we want to look for... What do we want out of an education? Let's have a look at us. We are kind, brave, charitable, family person. Not very bright, but, uh, you know. There's not really a lot we can... We'll do more than most for their kinsmen. Seven virtues. I'm just trying to see if there's anything that we... Um, maybe just someone who isn't craven, but is probably a knight? I don't know. There's not a lot from our traits that's going to give us anything. Let's have a look. Uh, probably by rank, and we'll find the first. We could obviously educate ourselves, but we are bad at educating. Oh, learning. Let's start by learning and do it that way. So we want someone who's good at fighting. So Loris, maybe, would be a good option. Uh, selfish, brave, cynical, diligent. I don't like cynical people right now. We're going to fall out. Um, our maester is definitely the default option. He's not very good at uh, commanding, though. Um... Ethan is another maester. He's not very good at being commanding. Isaac's the one we fell out with, so I think that probably wouldn't be a great idea. Although he is a knight. Why does he not have Sir Isaac as his name if he's a knight? Hmm. I don't know. Arwen? Maybe he would be fine? Uh, did we not? We told him to stop a plot, though, so probably not him. Gar Snow. Clifford. Clifford is a possibility. He's zealous. He's a bit shy. He's wroth. 
charitable though and honest. Charitable, honest knight. He's reasonably good at learning and books and stuff. And uh, he seems like a good choice. Uh, Tanya could be a choice. Elry could be a choice. Our wife could be a choice. Colin could be a choice. Uh, who apparently has been collecting his uh, Valyrian steel uh, blades. Yup, yup. Oh, fantastic. Um, I love that those are just completely broken. Okay, let's go for Cliff, Cliff Yard, our Master Arms. There we go, opinion bonus, done. Ah, Lord Paramount Laris of the Riverlands has usurped the Kingdom of the Riverlands from Lord Joshua the Gross. He now is Joshua the Gross of the Trident, still. His sons are both uh, lean troops in Freylands right now. Okay, they'll probably take control very soon. And the Freys control the entirety of the Riverlands, and they have allies, but their allies are all... They're all kind of lower down. Like, they're all allies within the uh, the Riverlands, which is probably very strong for internal stability, but could mean he gets attacked by the Vale for their land, or for... Or by the Westlands for their land, or something like that. We'll see. It's a great... It's great to spend time carousing in Merry Company. While the cup's being refilled, Lord Buford brings out a strange board with little decorated pieces. Explain this kind of strategy game. He assures you it's a great pastime that combines it well with copious amounts of drink. Um, we play for honour. You played for hours, the tides of fortune ebbing and flowing into you, trying to attack your opponent's positions without opening your defence too much. Eventually, however, you made a fatal mistake that your opponent exploited and you lost the game. I will get you next time. Okay. At least the guy brings out board games. The reveling and carousing is over. Time to get back to real life. So we get some prestige, we get some diplomacy, and everybody's very, very happy. People are founding the Lord Joshua for the Revelance factions. And... Oh, and he de he's dead. He died in the dungeons. He was blind, so... He was blind and ill and wounded. So there was a high chance. So it's now Joshua II is, uh, controls the trident. I think that's a... Oh, right. Oh, and the wall's back. Very soon. In fact, the wall is back right now. Theo, you are back in charge of the wall. You're a genius. He is a fantastic character. If he wasn't on the wall, he would be uh, definitely ruling something. And Lord Joshua started the faction to depose the Riverlands' current ruler. But I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.